What's up, everybody? We are live in the hospital. Happy. Happy. Okay. I got a burp. I just sat up. I put the thing to sit up. So here we go. Let's see if um, we get any viewers here. I'm still waiting. But here comes a burp. Excuse me. For those of you who don't know, <clears throat> I just had my second surgery. Can I tell you how happy I am? Okay, first, number one. What's up, Pamela? Thank you for all your kindness and support. Number one, before we get started, I have to let everybody know, as a disclaimer, I am completely sedated right now on narcotics. Like, completely sedated on narcotics. Ask your questions now. Now is the time to ask me questions because you don't know what I'm going to say. Someone's saying, I look good. Chris, my man, what is going up, brother? He says, I'm look, looking good, Matt. Finally caught one of your live broadcasts. <laughs> right now, as a matter of fact. And this is the one you don't want to miss. Anyway, we've only got 13 people here. 14. Ask your questions. It's going to build up. Okay, so I guess I'll talk about my surgery and we got some crazy news here, actually, um, that I'm gonna talk about. First off, the narcotic that I'm on is um, Dilaudid. <laughs> I like call, calling it narcotic because it sounds like serious and like stuff like that. So I'm on narcotics, Dilaudid, right now, right here. Someone says, how the heck am I? I am so happy, first off, to be alive. Everything that I've gone through with my business, financial, losing everything, rebuilding, losing my health, almost dying six times, Angela said today. <laughs> um, I'm very humble, you guys. <laughs> I'm just happy to be like, literally, like I'm a completely different man than I used to be. Um, Kim writes, I haven't seen you in a very long time. Your hair is short. Kim, where have you been? It's been a very long time, yes. A very long time. Um, I just had surgery, like, this today. And I'm just uh, sharing, every, doing a live video, completely sedated on narcotics, called Dilaudid. Tonight, I get, to, I get to do it every four hours, by the way. And to be honest with you, I could get away with doing it less. This is just, you can't get this stuff anywhere though. So there's every, <laughs> I'm gonna have to wean off it, but you know, while I'm in the hospital, it's like, let's party on. I do want the narcotic. I haven't walked and gotten up yet and there is pain when I laugh, so don't make me laugh. And, um, but I get it, I take it every opportunity I get. And I remember the last time when they let me take an IV Benadryl, the two together, you guys would not freaking believe like, Every time they give it to you, like, like I got right in the IV, it's just like, ugh, ugh. it like burns your entire body. And then like, you're just like, anyway. Um, someone's asking me what surgery I have. Kim, where did you go? What is going on here? You probably haven't ordered for me in like 25 years. I always got to take every opportunity I can get. The rawfoodworld.com is where to go. <laughs> this is the second surgery. I had a, um, my colon removed because I had ulcerative colitis. It was sorry, I had to tell you, my brother did this like 10 years ago because it runs in the Ashkenazi Jewish people, which I am. And so he cut me out, cut it out. And then I had this bag which burned my skin. It was like this attachment. I went to Legoland and it was like a water slide park. This shit was, this stuff was, I gotta watch my language when I'm sedated on narcotics like this. I, like, the, it was practically falling off. It was crazy. Now I can do whatever I want with my children. I'm very excited. Question. Hilarious. What surgery did you have? Oh, no, that's the same question. Did you ever speak or consult with Dr. Schultz or Dr. Christopher or Dr. Doc... About what? Dude, I am. The one, the consultee-er. People consult me, I don't consult people. <laughs> no, I've done everything, trust me. I've talked to, I've consulted with lots of people. And then when I announced I was doing the surgery, everyone became a 
guru who knew how to heal me and I did everything that everybody recommended and I was not going to do that. I'm not, I'm, do you know that I'm not even 100% raw, Kim? Do you know that everything has changed? Okay, let's see what this person says. Marcella says, I had a baby two months ago. Congratulations, kids are the best. I love my children. I would do anything for them. Um, all I want to do is be around them all day. Okay, um, I thoroughly enjoyed my fentanyl <laughs> IVs on top of my epidural. I had no desire for any pain. Hmm, maybe I should see if they have that here for me, if I could get that. <laughs> the Dilaudid is fine. Wait, Eugene O'Neill. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like, you, you have no idea. You have no idea what, how much people came to me trying to help me. And Anyway, I'm not going to go into that. It's frustrating. Hi, Bat. Very happy. Zana says, very happy you got the second surgery. Yay. Yes, it's all done. I have to get up and walk and see what happens. For those of you tuning in, I'm completely wasted on narcotics. Are you in the U.S. now? Yes, I'm in Florida. Oh, my God, Kim. Okay. Thank you, e Eugene. Okay, so. Now back to my story. After roasting on everybody. Okay. So. I had to be here at 6 a.m. It was, I woke up at 3.50. Scared as hell. Like, not wanting to do the surgery. Like, the first time was ridiculous. And then some woman tells me I should watch this movie, Calm, I think it was, with Michael Douglas about how this guy, how he gets sedated, is in coma for like almost the rest of his life. And I'm like, why would you send that to me? Anyway, so I'm sitting here having to go into like freaking go under and I'm sitting there like worried as hell. I had to wash myself with surgical stuff, take this and sure drink. Dilaudid is clinical heroin. It's like fentanyl, big brother. Are you serious? Is it like as extreme as heroin? Like, like... Heroin addicts, like, become really skinny and crazy. Is it like that? Anyway. It's not as extreme, right? Chris? Huh? <laughs> anyway. We're going live in this hospital bed. So here I am, scared as hell. Driving myself out here. This is like a life-changing thing we're about to, I'm about to share with you. No, it's not in the actual insure. It's a drink that they give for people before surgery. It's not insure. It's just a brand. Who am I? But yes, um, there was actually time I was drinking insure. I went off the raw food diet. I'm on a healthy diet. Enjoy it while you're under medical care, brother. It's all good. You didn't answer my question, Chris. Is it seriously as extreme? Oh, and I'm going to enjoy it. I mean, if, it feels like, I don't know what Aaron feels like, but it feels like it when you put it in. Like, anyway, hi, Lori. You guys, I'm sedated right now. Okay. It's not Insure. It was, it's a hospital drink that it's Insure brand. Forget it. I don't care. Kim, Kim, Kim. What are we going to do here? Okay, back to my story again. So I get here, I tell everybody I, who runs into me that I'm scared. They all feel bad for me. It's like I'm having a big party. Um, I'm in this room. They put, I needed two IVs because this was a serious surgery. Uh, they say a stomach surgery. They put the first one in. Hi, Christina. <laughs> Christina Pistone is famous in the world of stuff. You can go see her at her YouTube channel, Christina Pistone, and she's on Facebook and does a lot of stuff too. Anyway, back to where I'm at. I'm completely sedated, so please forgive me for whatever I do here. All right, and um, here we go. Christina come and got me like all messed up here. All right, back to my story. Praying for your speedy recovery. Thank you, Jen. Okay, so back to my story. So I'm here um, in the hospital. 
She puts the freaking IV in, does it wrong, takes it out, puts it in my other one. I'm like, ah, this woman doesn't know what she's doing. And then she got someone else, thank God, to put in the other IV here. And so they're like, um, we're going to give you anxiety medicine before the surgery. Because I was nervous as hell, but I was fine. Same, I was just like ready to do this. I didn't know what was going to happen. And I'm like, can I, can I use Dilaudid for <laughs> anxiety? And the whole room laughs of all these people like helping me. And they're all like hugging me and stuff. I don't know. I guess I'm kind of like a lovable guy or something like that. It was kind of cool. Um, okay, so, and it's not a lax. Okay, so they give me this bed of it for anxiety and it was nice. I was like, okay, okay, that was cool. That was like good instead of the Dilaudid. And then they were going to put me under anesthesia. You know, they put the thing on your face and then they do everything. And I don't even remember that. I can't even remember it. I think the shot they gave me put me out or something. It was like trickery. Oh, I like it though. And then I woke up done. It was over. And I got rid of this bag. I'm like, how? it was a minor surgery. I'm not going to show you because I'm practically naked, even though I'm the type of guy I did. There's no more bag there. My life is completely changed. And like, I think the reason God gave me a hairy body is because it's going to cover up the scars but I don't care. I'll just shave it and show it to everybody anyway. Anyway. <laughs> okay. They jabbed Eugene Zarn 15 times. Okay, so the story gets a lot juicier, guys. Way juicier. <clears throat> so here I am. Back here. I, was, this, I get delauded, this narcotic... Every four hours if I want. And this IV of Benadryl at night that knocks you out. It like, doesn't even, it just the two together is like the best you could possibly imagine. You're just like, Ugh. anyway, I'm not a drug addict. I mean, I don't do this commonly, often. I, I'm sober all the time. Anyway. Okay. We're about to get into the juicy stuff, but Chris wrote, he's like one of my best friends here. Yes, got the shot from my appendix. I don't even remember the mess going on. I started counting down 10, 9, what, W2. And that's all I remember of my general experience. Okay. So I drove out here. For those of you that are just tuning in, we like tripled in numbers. I'm completely sedated on narcotics. So please excuse me. I don't, I'm the type of guy who goes live when he's completely wasted. So here we are. So I get to the hospital, I drove myself here. And then I share the car with Angela so and the kids, so for now. So she came and um, someone drove her here and so she got the car and brought it back. And since I was sedated, so as many of you know, me and Angela are separated. It's been many years actually. Um, and it's my fault. I'm a completely different person now. Um, Many of you know my spiritual experience of what happened to me. Um, but anyway, we've been separated for many years. And um, my kids are the most important thing to me. Like, I would literally be single for the rest of my life if I needed to. Um, just so I could keep the environment um, good to where I could be with my children all the time. But I just had a talk with Angela and um, she's, first off, she, there's no way we'd get back together. I've tried over and over again and she's not interested. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, I want to be the best man I can be. So um, for the first time, I, I like had the balls to actually like just bring up the conversation because I'm completely sedated. We had a really good, good conversation about everything. Um, so pretty much she's good with everything now. Like, you know, I even just said it for the hell of it. You, you want to try again? And she's like, no way. And so I'm like, oh man, we got someone coming in. Yeah. What's up, brother? I'm doing a... All right, you? It's you. Yes, it's me. It's the man. <laughs> I'm doing a live hangout, so just do the vitals while I'm doing this. All right. All right. Okay. So, 
here I am in a situation where I'm, I'm going to start probably dating again at some point. I'm not like rushing into something like that, but we've got to completely understand it's not going to interrupt the, the situation with my kids. But here's the deal. Um, I've been sick for a while and we've actually been living together as friends with the kids. And now here's the big thing. We're going to look for a situation. She doesn't want to live with me, you know, so I, and, you know, I want, we want privacy and stuff like that. So we're going to look for a situation where houses are really next to each other and I'm going to get my own place. This is just a big life change thing. And I've been scared about the whole thing because of my children. And um, I've never like pursued it, you know, just because my children are everything to me, you guys. I would like spend my like days and nights like with them the entire time, all day long. That's like what I've been doing. They've been sleeping with me in my bed at night, kicking me in the face. Angela's kind of like tired of that. <clears throat> and I'm the type of guy who likes to sleep alone, but I'm just in bliss with these kids. I don't even care. <laughs> we stay up to like 3 a.m. in the morning sometimes. And Angela kind of likes it because um, she has all this free time um, in the morning because they sleep late because of me, uh, because they're up late. And... Um, I'm happy, she's happy, and all that fun stuff. All right, so let me... Okay, I'm going to read these questions now. All right, we got to get my temperature, everybody. Wait, is there a thing on it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> What's my temperature? 98.1. 98.1, I'm good here. Are, are we done with my vitals? We're done with the vitals. All right, brother. All right. Your girls are blessed to have a father so devoted to them. Loving parents is so vital. It's pretty crazy. Like, my whole life is, like, starting over. Maybe I'll even have more kids at some point. Okay. I still hear Angela's voice singing the start of every video you did before. Look, me and Angela are great friends. She's probably one of my best friends. I'm very excited. I, I'm, I'm very happy for her. I'm very happy to have clarity in my life. Everything is clear. I'm moving on. She's moving on. I mean, we've already moved on, but it's like a super move on. Um, I needed the help when I was sick anyway, and she took really good care of me, you know? So, like, it's just been a very good situation. Um... So, yeah, and um, let's keep going on here. My kids are beautiful. It's, like, ridiculous. You, Yes, destined for greatness, my man. Thanks, Christopher. Thank you, Christopher. For those of you just tuning in, I'm completely sedated. Just, like, now's the time to ask your questions. So, I'm excited about life. Um, you know what was really interesting is I just did an interview. John Kohler, another raw food guy who's no longer a raw foodist anymore, um, just did an interview with me. It's not up live yet, but it was really good. It talks, we talk about why I think this happened on a spiritual level, physical level. Um, you know, uh, he thought, you know, a lot of people think that f a lot of it has to do with the physical aspects. This whole disease thing is spiritual. Um, and I share that in the video. It's going to be really big. Um, I've shared it with you guys, too. Yeah. Oh, John Clore with Growing Your Greens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we met many years ago, back in the day. Um, anyway, so this has been pretty big news. I've got kind of like that cotton mouth from like all this stuff. I haven't drinking or eaten anything since yesterday, and I'm not supposed to for a while. This is my forte. You know, like I could do things like this um, until everything heals. I still haven't gotten up. Um, he's vegan, but he just went off raw for the first time. He calls it heat processing. This is a serious guy, dude, when it comes to like health. It's not like anything huge, but like if he's going to eat something that's heat processed is what he calls it. I think it's funny. Um, is like... Um, I think the craziest different thing he's eating is like wild potatoes. He won't even eat regular potatoes. I'll eat regular potatoes, but like these special purple wild potatoes and stuff like that. Um, he also 
is doing like eggplant, you know, just stuff like that. Maybe he said some like wild rice or stuff like that. Um, yeah, so me personally, I like animal products, not necessarily meat, but like I feel like it's really good for concentrated nutrition, like goat milk or I like the A2 milk um, and eggs. You're not hurting animals or anything like that. I do eat fish, you know. I know some of you are going to snap at me for that. Um, and on occasion, I'll have some meat. I haven't done it with this recently because like for some reason the bag doesn't like it and it starts to fall off um but uh on occasion you know the and i eat mainly whole foods um the worst thing i probably eat are saltine crackers saltine crackers you know it helps keep me not becoming too clean and i could still do something out of the ordinary every once in a while if i'm out with people or something like that it's cool um there was a time like where I went crazy and like did all sorts of fun stuff. Never did a raw, a fast, fast food restaurant or anything like that. But you know, like a chocolate chip soft cookie. I was doing like this is like a couple like um when I went after raw like after I was like I realized things are more important than diet now, <laughs> so I was experimenting the other way. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was a lot in this hangout to explain. Um, I'm going to be looking for another place to live. Um, immediately. It's exciting. Um, it's going to, it's going to be like right next door. I, I like, that's like the most important thing to me. If I could find two houses on the same land, that would be freaking awesome. But as long as it's like real near each other. Kim, if you talk about this insurer again, it was a, it's not, and the, it's like made for the hospitals for like surgeries to like make sure it was like the only thing they were allowed. Anyway, I don't care. I don't care. Um, but yeah, normal insure I would not drink. Normal insure I would not drink. Um, Michael, what happened? What are you talking about? Anyway, I don't want to make this too long because I want to, um, what do you call it? People to watch it. And if it's too long, people won't watch it. You guys, I'm completely sedated. I can't even remember what I said three minutes ago. But anyway, what I do remember is I took Dilaudid at 7.30, which means I get to take it at 8, 9, 10, 11.30 again. Now I can't laugh, it hurts. 11.30, 11.30. And I'll take the Benadryl at the same time. Maybe I should do a hangout at 11.30. Then it'll be insane. Anyway, love you all. Oh, I got to talk about the promos. Living libations. I have so much of that stuff. 15% off right now on all the high-end beauty products from Living Libations. You don't want to miss out on that. Um, and on top of that, you can use the coupon code RAWFOOD7 for 7% up. Thank you, Christina. I'm going to write you after this, by the way. Okay, because now I'm kind of, I kind of said something that wasn't true, and I didn't, you know, whatever. Um, but I talked about it here, which is true. Okay. I would ask where the insure was sourced and if it was at least organic. <laughs> Whatever. All right, Chris. Um, all right, everybody. Talk to you all soon. Mwah. Love you all. Oh, wait. Living libations. Raw food 7, 7% off. See, you did it again. Raw food 7, 7% off. Um, we've got the systemic and digestive enzymes at cost also. And... Yeah, there's like 73 products of living libations. All right, everybody. Mwah.